Hello my fellow Aldi addict, it's Jackie. It's Monday, which means I'm back at Aldi. Last week, I went to eight different grocery stores in one day, and I'm gonna be sharing that video with you on Wednesday. But basically, I ended up picking up groceries here and there, so my list is once again smaller. I have food to work through at home. I love grocery shopping, so it's really hard for me to not go to stores and actually buy things when I see them. So I keep seeing one particular item on the Aldi Facebook groups, and a lot of times I'm not influenced to feel like I need to buy the items. I'm more interested in the grocery, but there is one thing I'm looking for. It was here last week, but I didn't really pay attention, but seeing them in people's homes makes me want one and I have a perfect spot for it. So let's see if uh, what I'm looking for is here. But anyways, uh, we're gonna get in all to get my weekly groceries. I will share with you my meal plan at the end. All recipes I use will be linked below. My son saw a picture of him eating these when he was younger and asked me to get them. So I'm getting the mini cheese crackers, 329. I'm getting a bag up for charcuterie tonight. My kid's favorite part, I think, $1.69. I'm getting two loaves of white bread. My kids are home from school most of this week. Um, don't ask me why, because we just had Christmas break, but they are. So grilled cheese, peanut butter sandwiches, toast, 95 cents. Okay, I'm getting cauliflower. I'm actually pickling cauliflower. So $2.99 for this. My son asked me to buy him cold broccoli for dinners instead of the steamed broccoli, so I'm going to honor that request. If I can find a good looking broccoli, all these are a little beat up. $2.39 per pound. I'm getting uh, cucumber, 69 cents. I'm just gonna get carrots, but they don't have any. My son is a Mandarin Freak, $2.99 for the bag, $4.46 for eggs. I really honestly don't even want to buy him, but we need him. Is it true? $4.69 for heavy cream. I'm using it in two dinners and whipped cream for hot chocolates, $2.95. Apple juice, two cans of diced tomatoes for butter chicken, 85 cents. And then I try to keep these on hand and I ran out, so I'm gonna get four cans of garbanzo beans. My vegetarian likes these along with black beans, 76 cents. I'm curious, does your Aldi still sell pepperoncinis? I haven't seen them at ours in a long time. There's only sliced mild peppers. I have a hard time getting my um, vegetarian to eat enough protein, so I'm getting her these to see if she will like them. 19 grams of protein just to have before basketball practice. They're $3.99, but it'll be worth it for me if I can get her to eat more protein. These also seem interesting. I'll probably get both of them and see. So these are six bars for $5.29. We'll see. So nothing new here, but these are the rugs. And this is the one I wanted to see if they have the runner of. So they have the 5x7s that are $50, but that's not what I want. All of this looks like stuff from last week. Look how cute these carafes and French presses are. Super cute colors, very spring-like. Coffee maker, electric kettle, all in the same color schemes. Really cute if you're looking for new kitchen stuff. Um, accent rugs, those aren't the washable ones wire rags. Oh cute, little espresso mugs. How adorable are those? Those are so cute. I am very tempted to get them, but I don't even have an espresso maker. Candles, Ray Dunn knockoffs, little faux florals. Ooh, that lounge dress looks nice. Different socks. Underwear. Should I get these and ask my husband to model them for us? <laughs> oh, look at these blankets. My daughter would love that. It's her birthday next week too. Seems like a pretty good deal. Oh, look, velvet comforter set. That's pretty.
Lots of leftover stuff over here. But I don't see the runners with the washable rugs here, which is a bummer. I think these are cute. Condiment sets. Boot rack. Those are $19.99. It's busy in this aisle. I don't have what I want though. We still have all this cuteness going on. My favorite rice, just running out, need it for butter chicken, and my husband's making rice pudding tonight, $4.89. Since my kids are gonna be home, I know I need red sauce for pasta. It's just easy. Pasta's even on the dinner menu this week with uh, either ravioli or plain pasta. They love this sauce, $1.45. Also, just to have on hand, I'm getting um, tortillas. There are 10 of them in here, but quesadillas, really simple lunch addition to fruits and veggies. After today, they are home all week for lunch. So my husband's making rice pudding tonight. I need one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk. It's $1.29 for the evaporated milk, $1.85 for sweetened condensed. He uses his mom's recipe, which I don't have a link for, I'm sorry. I was excited, but 30% off of $3.99 a pound really doesn't seem worth it to me, so I'm leaving this. But I got excited from afar. I'm getting decaf. I don't go through this often, so I don't buy it that regularly, but sometimes I just want to make a fresh cup right before bed, and then I go decaf. $3.89. We have turkey, duck, chicken, all the things, ham. It is now 99 cents a pound. I'm not a ham lover, but seems like a pretty good deal there. Sweet potato fries, not sticks, vegan not sticks. I don't even want to know, I'll be honest. Um, fr fruits of the Forest Strudel. Ooh, that looks really yummy to me. <laughs> More of the pretzels, apple strudel. German blend. They have um, a vegetable lasagna over there. Hmm, I wonder what the vegetables on that is. Mushrooms are a no-no in my house. So green pepper, celery, carrots, red pepper, spinach, onions. I would like that. I just, my kids are so picky sometimes. I just don't think, but it's six, let's see, six ninety-five. I'm very tempted, but I have a feeling I'd be disappointed. Pizzas, dino nuggets, lots of pizzas. Oh, pizza made from chickpeas. Interesting. This is what I found a bag of in my freezer. Um, cheese ravioli from the Priano brand. And it's vegetarian and it's cheese, but my kids don't want it. They won't eat it. Oh, I love the tamale, the Texas Tamale Company black bean and their beef and their chicken. I've never had the pork ones, but their tamales are so good. Chicken Cordon Bleu, Pepper Jack, Swiss, lots of berries for smoothies, and Cool Whip is on clearance. They have different pie bites. Let's see, these pie bites. Banana cream filling, graham cracker crust, chocolate coating. They have key lime, $5 each. String cheese, my son wants to add this to his lunch, which I'm happy to do, $2.55. Getting one thing of lemon water, $3.85. Plus in Michigan, we pay $1.20 deposit for the cans. Yay, they have some of my plain Belvies. I'm gonna get however many I can find. Let's see, it looks like there's five plain. And then I'm also gonna grab, um, two limes just to have when I'm not fasting. You guys ask often actually why I buy so much of the plain waters. I do intermittent fasting so I like to have them when I'm not in my eating window um, and then I like to have some of the flavored ones on occasion in my eating window. 78 cents a piece. Well I was gonna get more broccoli but I know that I have some in my freezer um, and they're out so I guess I will walk away from the broccoli. Okay this is what I this is what I expected to see last week. So much valentines everywhere. Lots of cute things. Um, if you have a sweetheart you could probably find something for them here. 
art pop calendars, they have thermal pajama sets. I mean, how adorable is that? Boxes of chocolates, kitchen towels. There's the pet stuff I saw last week. Oh, they even have adult loungewear. And then on this side, Pop-Tart Bites, Chocolate Strawberry Cheerios, and a family favorite, they have the shaped pasta. Okay, so I saw these. I'm gonna put um, the smaller box of protein bars back, and I'm gonna get these. 6.09 for four shakes and I'm gonna get one box of protein bars and just see um, which my teenager prefers. Okay, here is everything. Any guess on the total? Hi, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. Okay, so my total was $77.97. I don't know, it doesn't look like much. I think my protein stuff sent me up. Okay, here is our meal plan for the week. We're gonna have charcuterie. This is like probably gonna be considered the world's worst charcuterie. It's gonna basically be, I have a quarter jar of olives or a quarter jar of artichokes, a little bit of pickles. We have crackers to use up from Christmas time. We're using a lot of things up, hopefully, and then also whatever leftovers kids could add it to their plate. Basically, clean out the fridge charcuterie. That's tonight for dinner. We have some cheese ravioli, and then I'll make plain pasta. We're gonna marinara sauce with that. I wrote breadsticks, I meant garlic bread. The garlic bread I bought last week, we haven't ate. We're gonna have that, and then I'm gonna have a vegetable with it. Um, my daughter's first basketball game is this week, and for the condensed schedule, it'll be easy to have Culver's one night. The kids all got Culver's gift cards for Christmas. We've been um, looking forward to having that, so one night we're going to have Culver's. Um, I'm making butter chicken. This comes with... When I make butter chicken, we have naan, which I found in my freezer, thankfully. I have chicken breasts already, and then I make the butter chicken sauce. We have white rice and steamed broccoli. It is a family favorite. I love it. We will be having breakfast for dinner this week. I'm not buying anything for this except for juice, um, but I have a little bit of mini pancakes or waffles or leftover French toast sticks. We have hash browns, lots of things on hand that we will be able to kind of clean up a little bit more. We are going to my in-laws for dinner this week. I am making tabbouleh, which requires a lot of fresh mint and parsley. However, I'm not buying that until right beforehand because I want it to be super fresh. So tabbouleh is my only contribution. And then we'll have dinner at my in-laws. And then I'm also gonna make gnocchi, alfredo, and steak bites. We will also have a vegetable with that. My freezer is kind of an embarrassment to look at, but this is an idea of what I'm working with and what I want to work through. I keep a lot of things. I end up buying groceries. Last week I went and did a little price comparison and you're going to see that video in a few days, but every time I went to a store, I might pick up an item here or there and I do that frequently. I do enjoy grocery shopping and perusing grocery aisles. So even though I do a weekly grocery haul from Aldi, it's not uncommon for me to go to a store for a different reason and then pick up a little bit of groceries here and there. And then if we go out to eat, I end up having an entire dinner that I planned on hand and my stock just blooms. After moving our deep freezer to my fridge, <laughs> this is how packed it is with leftovers, vegetables. These are like pre-cooked shredded chicken. I just, we have a lot of food to get through guys. When we go to my in-laws, we are having chicken shawarmas. I have made my dinner based off my mother-in-law's recipe. If you want to see how I prepare it at my house, including the tabbouleh, you can check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.